Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Friday, October 24, 2008. This morning we'd like to finish up the RSS script writing example and one small correction from the other day. In the create RSS on method, you need to send start RSS to the RSS writer like this. So with that out of the way, let's go to write item stuff. Now I tested this out so that I wouldn't embarrass myself on the screencast and here's the method. First I'm going to get the content from the page. So I do an HTTP GET for. Now, one caveat here, before I do that, I had to go into the Parcel Manager, and you can see the results here. So I went into the Parcel Manager, and I selected Networking, and I went down to Net Clients, and I did a load, so I loaded the entire thing in. Having done that, I was now able to go in here to the Private Method category, and do this. So all I'm doing is doing a get on the link and returning the contents. Now again, in terms of error handling, this really ought to have some checking to make sure that I don't get a timeout error and then dying gracefully by maybe putting out an empty description tag. I'm not going to do that in this case, but here's where you probably ought to have that kind of thing. And then, going back to the right item stuff, I need to get the image source out of that content. Now, to show you how I did that, this takes a little spelunking, so you need to go in here to the actual page, view the page source, and then what you have to do is kind of scroll through this mess, figure out where on this page the actual image you're looking for is, and then write some Smalltalk code that is appropriate to finding it. Now it turns out that the code that you need to use for that is right here. I get the content as a read stream, I look for the name of the author, and then I skip a few image source tags to get past some of the cruft, find the lat third one here, and then stream up to the end of that, and I get the link back. So all I do here is check through to find the appropriate image tag to pull the link out of, and then I've got the link that is the actual image that I want. And then I can go back to my writing code, and I can go to my write item stuff method, and I can put out a couple of things of interest. So I can put down the title for the item, which is going to be Pearls Before Swine for whatever the day is. Then the link is the actual link to the image, so that if I have the desire to go to the actual web page, I can do that. The description, which is going to be an image source tag, and then the pub date. And that's basically it. So let's go ahead and see how that works. So let's go in here and do Perl Writer New Write Feed. And we'll go ahead and do that didn't take too long. Let's go ahead and open up the file and take a look at it. And we'll try pearls.xml. And we'll take a look in here. And it looks like it came out. So I've got my RSS tag. I've got my channel. I've got my link, description, and then down in the item, I've got the title, the link. And here I see that the link is actually a relative link. And again, here the link for the image is a relative link. So there's a little bit of fix-up I'd have to do to this if I wanted this to actually be completely correct. What I would want to do is go in here and pull off the comics.com and for my item, for my link here and for my image source, I'd want to fix that up. So what I'm going to do is copy this text and we're just going to do a little patch to that method right here and now. So we'll come here to our right item stuff and say link gets that, comma that, and again here, comma, so we just patch that in, do a control S, and now we'll try it one more time, and we'll do an open on the file again, pearls.xml, and now you can see that I've got fully rendered links. This should actually work. So that's pretty much it. We've now got a working system that produces an RSS feed from a site that doesn't have one. Now again, I'm not trying to encourage copyright violations here. I'm just showing you that if you have a site that you want to scrape, here's how you would go about it and create a local feed, not one that you should share with other people. But it's a nice example of how to do this kind of thing in Smalltalk. So that pretty much wraps up our little example for the last few days. So until next time, have fun with small talk.